Hello everybody. In today's episode of Clicker Heroes I'll be going over ancients, what they do and which ones you should get. It's probably the only topic I hadn't covered yet, so let us start shall we? Well, ancients basically give you various extra stats at the cost of your hero souls. There are about 25 or so ancients in the game, so I won't be able to go through every single one of them in this video, but I will explain the ones that are most important and what you should get in the early and mid game. First of all before I start explaining, I'll have to go through the two various play styles in this game, as the type of ancients you should get depend on how you play the game. One of them is idling, where you simply let the game run without having to click the monsters, and the other way is by active clicking whether it's by hand or using an auto clicker. So let's start. Vagar, the Ancient of Impatience. This ancient lowers the cooldown of all your skills, up to a maximum of 75%. One of the best ancients in the game, and probably one of the first you should get, especially if you are a clicker play style. Not to mention this opens up the ability to do dark ritual runs, which allow you to get to very high levels. I already have a video on that if you are interested in checking that out. Next, comes the king and queen of idle ancients, Libertus and Cialatus. These ancients increase the amount of gold and DPS you get when idle, respectively. These two should always be one of the first you get, because even if you put as little as 4 points into each you are already doubling your stats. A must have for idle players and even for clicker players they should have this on their mind too. I mean it's not like you will be clicking constantly 24-7, because whether it's doing the dishes, playing a game of league, jacking off, or taking a big shit, you're going to have to take a break at some point. Unless you're one of those people who leave their auto clickers constantly running, then Libertas and Cialatas will be of no use, since you'll have to not click for them to take effect. And next, the kings of clicking ancients, Ball and Fragsworth. Ball increases the damage of your critical clicks, and Fragsworth increases the overall damage of clicks. So just imagine pairing both of them together, if you are a clicking player then this is a must. For idle players it's only really useful for when you use your abilities, so I would hold back on getting them until you get your more important ancients. And don't forget Juggernaut if you're using an auto clicker, since the more you click, the higher your DPS multiplier will be, which can lead to insane multipliers when you leave your auto clicker running for hours. And next, Admin and Solomon, the ancients you spend your hero souls on to get more hero souls in the long run. Not the first ancients you should get, but after you get your core ancients you should definitely pick up these to speed up your mid game. There are also the four gold ancients aside from Libertus, Mammon, Mimsy, Dora, and Fortuna. All of these you should get after Atman and Solomon, with Mammon, Mimsy and Dora being the first you should get. Fortuna you could probably hold back on until later because it won't really give as much extra gold, as well as the percent chance making it unreliable. Mammon is probably the best simply because the gold gain is consistent no matter what. Dora and Mimsy only make a difference if you get treasure chests, but when you do get treasure chests, be sure to swim in all that cash monies. Well that will be all for this video, I didn't get through all of them so I will make a continuation later, explaining the rest of the ancients. Be sure to leave a like or subscribe if you found this helpful, these are just general tips on which ancients you should get depending on which playstyle you choose. Have a prehistoric day.